Here's a quick trick of how I refactor some code sometime. So let's say that we have our multi crates workspace, and what we want is to refactor just one part, and that is our password. And it's actually what we're going to do in a future episode, where we're going to make a multi-scheme password hashing. And what we want is to refactor all of this module. The problem is, if we change things inside, it's going to break everything else, and it's going to be a pain. But the cool trick is to actually go to our lib, and what we're going to do is, we're going to click on this one, then you do a F2, and then we're going to rename it, PWD Legacy. Now you press Save, it's going to refactor, you click OK, you press Command Option S to save everything. You might have to reload VS Code, and everything works exactly as before, except that now the menu PW is called PWD Legacy. And now the cool thing is, we can do a pub mode PWD, press save, and now we have our PWD over there. We can cherry pick whatever we want from here. So for example, I would probably cherry pick our content to hash, so this one I'm pretty happy with. And then I have a public functions, and I will just take not the content, because that's the whole point of the refactoring, but I will take the signature. And actually, if I want to prep it as well, I could rename the function right there, and that would keep everything else working. And then I put it in my new PWD. And then, as I'm going to develop my PWD over there, I can write my unit test. And when I'm all happy, I can swap all of the other code to the new PWD, and then delete the PWD legacy, and then I'm all clean, and so on. So that is a quick little trick that is actually very neat. And we can even do that with crates. So for example, in a future video, we will also update our lib RPC to make it very scalable with a dynamic routing. And we will rename this one lib RPC legacy. We'll start a new one, write our unit test, and then swap it. So that is a little trick. I just wanted to share it very quickly. If you like it, like and subscribe helps a lot. Until next one, happy coding.